Hey everybody, welcome down to Royal Troon. This is my favorite open venue. It played host to probably one of the greatest championships of all time when Henrik Stenson faced down Phil Mickelson on that famous final day. It is in my favorite part of the world on the west coast of Scotland and over yonder is literally where I want my ashes scattered on the Isle of Arran. Now, to be honest, like, apart from the old course, this has my favorite clubhouse as well. Look how just squat it sits. It looks like it's bracing for like the worst weather that Scotland can throw at it. I love it. Now, the format of today's event is a full 18 hole round. We're gonna be filming it all. Here is the first tee. Is that the Clara Jug on the first, by the way? You see that? Is it? All right, yeah, cool. Now, in these videos, we have the scoring targets. Anything par and under is a gold medal. Now, at Royal Troon, that is a 71. Anything between 72 and 75 is a silver medal. Anything between 76 and 79 is a bronze. Anything 80 or above, I get absolutely nothing. Let's head to the first tee and let's stroke the claret jug. Is that appropriate? We'll get right to that one. Yeah. Inversely, the best shot you've ever seen. <laughs> Risking all the danger. <laughs> Meant it. Now, more rag has been replaced. I'm thinking, Beth, we need a name, a Scottish name for the dog. For the dog? Yeah. What are you thinking? Angus's lead front Angus. runner at the moment. Can't be good at Scottish names. <laughs> no. The disrespect. Scottish name. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know what? I can't even think of one. Not one Scottish name? No. Okay. Robert? Robert? Ah, Robert. Robert Burns, innit? Uh, Rob <laughs> ah, Robert Burns, innit? I was going to go Robert the Bruce. All right, shall we just go with Angus? I think Angus. Thanks for your help, Beth. Really appreciate that. Yeah, well, when, next time I pick a head cover up from Wales, I'm coming to you. Okay. Loading up a bit of shot scope right now. I uh, purposely came over to the right-hand side of this hole because uh, I wanted to hear the sound of the ocean in my ears to inspire me. I love this place. I absolutely love this place. Yeah, so we've got 84 in. That pin's tight right. If it goes right, there is a bunker, which just is going to be horrific with that pin, so. That's it. Yeah, that's okay. Just left. That was a little bit safe with the wedge, but yeah, like one of the things around this course, try and leave ourselves not in positions like that. All right then. Put for a birdie on the first. Yes, please. This is pretty much straight up the slope from here. Wow, that would have been nice. Oh, man. Take a pass start there. Take it. It's one of the reasons I love this layout. Like, you got to be so strategic at times. But as I've not had a warm-up, I need the biggest head in the bag. I'm going to aim down the left side. Slight cut. I think that's perfect. I think it's really good. Oh, this driver, man. It's like accuracy personified. Sounds amazing as well. You know, I think it sounds really good. I'm not just saying that because I struck one out of the middle. It just sounds like very... Time to hunt down some birdies here. Who lives in a house like this? I don't know, but when the open comes around, they must make an absolute fortune. Imagine the Airbnb on that. Oh, incredible. I'm not sure, but... It definitely has the mark of someone who's like refused to move. Uh, right, 66 yards. Little half swing, bounce it once, skip it, and the hole we go. Ah, oh, too much grab. Sometimes it's just a curse to strike it this well. Like you guys don't understand. Greens here, like they might be a little bit quicker than this at the open, but not a lot. Like, there's only so fast they can get them. Because obviously, if you imagine a 30 mile an hour wind blowing across it. Anything quicker than that, the ball's just going to roll away. So they're like a really nice, like, holdable pace. Oh, oh wow. That's a thumping position. 
Ah, another par. I am playing some par golf at the moment. I am like the reincarnation of Nick Faldo golfing soul. Yeah, it's 260 to that ditch, so just a hybrid. That might be the first time I missed a fairway with this club. It's okay, but take a hybrid for safety. You don't want to miss the fairway, do you? Sorry, team. This, this one's on you. Me, me and Ash are having a day off. Oh, 113, front pin. Don't push it right. Oh, man, I just love the look of this course. It's only, kind of one of the only issues is from here, because the course is relatively flat, it looks a little bit featureless, but actually, like if you look at a drone and you look at where all the bunkers are and like when you play it, it's so good. I just love it. 113, it, sitting down with this lie as well, I'm thinking if I drill like a low skiddy 50 degree, just try and fade it against that wind, this is going to be bang on the money. Bit big, but I've got to be honest, I cannot believe it popped up so high from that lie. Absolutely flew. It's another birdie chance. Just a green in regulation beast. <laughs> Can we keep a straight face? It's a birdie. I can smell it approaching. I don't know how far away it is though. <laughs> Hopefully very close. Right, up the hill, it's gonna break left to right. Hell of a pin again, wow. Hold that line, hold that line. Ah. They're nice, they are a nice pace. Very nice pace. Some of these pins so far have been nice, yeah, haven't they? Spicy, they? Flag game is strong. This is all stitching. It's thick with stitch. Do we know what this means? Yeah. What does it mean? It's all about strength and skill. It, all, all Latin quotes are to do with strength and unity and something else, aren't they? Yeah. Par five, 500 yards. So we are playing off the yellows for this. So it's gonna give us a bit of an advantage if we can get good drives away. Especially this one, like slightly downwind off the right. Oh, just pummel this. I'll do. So here is the card, the Visit Scotland Golf Day. So yeah, 6,200 yards total off the yellows, six, six, off the whites and then the blacks are about 7,000. For an open venue, it's actually quite short off the backs, but, but it is so tactical. Like you've got to avoid the bunks and all the rest of it, but a still day um, like Stenson and Mickelson had, like they went at it. Admittedly, they were ripping it apart, but you can, you can get towards 20 under in an open championship playing here, which is probably higher than the RNA would want it, but it's certainly what we want today. Come on, let's get on the bar. I thought I'd hit a really good tee shot though. No, I, th I thought I'd like faded it into a little bit more of a dog leg. It's actually a lot straighter, this hole. It's 180 to the front. The pin is right behind the bunker. So I'm not gonna be able to get it close out of that lie. I think, to be honest, that is not gonna spin. I'm thinking 180 yards. I think if I blast an eight iron out of that lie, it's gonna kick on and roll. And I'm feeling like pretty pumped up. You know what I mean? Adrenaline's flush through my system. I don't want to end up short right. Like that bunker that Hannah's going left, that'll actually be okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that was pretty. Sit. Sit. If I say so myself, that was actually quite well thought out. And I've only had two coffees today. Right, what's your most lofty club? Sandbread. Fantastic. It's clues in the neck. Go on, pop yourself in. Okay. First thing you've got to do is believe. Believe, I can do it. Believe, yeah. Okay. So ball position, kind of front of centre. This way, this way, this way. There you go. Good. Okay. okay. Club behind the ball. Open up the club a little bit. There you go. Now, all you're doing here, quick wrist hinge. Okay. And whacking the sand before the ball. Speed. Whack. Speed. If you get this out, we'll give you a coffee shop in Swansea a shout out. 
Yeah! Oh, there we go! <laughs> That's how you do it. Works every time. Unbelievable. What's the coffee shop? Haystack. Haystack in Swansea. Best coffee in South Wales. Nay, the whole of Wales. Right, come on, let's focus. Come on. Eagle pup. Oh, stopped. Oh, went the other way. It was too hard, but oh, I thought it a really good putt then. Loving these greens. Loving. Wow. It wasn't the most confident of putts, but yeah, no pictures on a scorecard, is there? Unless you're filming. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like a massive strong eight or a cutty seven. Yeah, it's 160 front, like they're not spinning. So over that bunker on the right. Oh, you know what? I feel in a hole in one here. Can't we nudge it a touch more? Oh. <laughs> that was like half a foot from being unbelievable. Slopes all the way down from there as well. Ah, oh, right, yeah, so, well, no, there's no chance of going forward there, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, just gotta take your medicine out of these bunkers, ain't you? It's a bit annoying when I'm like, flags that way. But... Have I managed to miss the green there? Oh, it's okay, we're okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, lo I love the pace of the greens. Uh, a messy four, but no, nah, it, could, it could have actually been a lot worse. Like, took my medicine pretty well. I, I say took my medicine well. Like, I physically couldn't hit it forward. It was an enforced medicine take. Shoved the funnel down my throat and was like, you're going to take this medicine. Now, it's going to make you better. You're not going to like it. Par five, straight up the hill. You chopper. No idea. Not a clue. That's gonna be a provisional ball. Just so I can find the first one. Not slightly less good sighter. Such a terrible first tee shot. And I can only lay up from here. So this is my fourth here. Back into the fairway. Yeah, that's the best I could do. Best I could do. Try and make a bogey somehow. <laughs> Downwind par five. So annoyed. Only one way to make up for it though. Holding 120 yard pitch shot. Do not go in that bunker. Oh no. Please go in the bunker. I should be having a meltdown here, mate. You say some inspiring words to me. Oh no, feet. You moron. Oh man. This is trouble. Might need all the help I can get. Let's test the tensile strength of these trousers, shall we? I'm going to go again, Ash, while I'm messing around in it. Just going to step out. Just going to have a moment to myself. Got to try and avoid those sprinklers. But let it drift down. Meant it. 
Oh, deep breaths. We're having fun, aren't we, Anna? We're having fun. It's a fun game. We're having fun. Golf does definitely not want me to take this putt around and whack myself in the shin. All right, yeah, this is for a nine. Good nine, put that. Good, good nine. Good nine in the end, that. Solid nine. Yeah. Because I'm going on the par today. You've heard it here first. I'm fuming. Actually fuming. So that last hole for me is to not, not go mad with it. It's just a solid drive. That's pretty good. Just gonna be left of the green. Yeah. It's down to the left. Would have easy got there. Just a bit pulley. We're okay. It's a nice like lesson to relearn Mr. Bunkers, man. Round true. If they're just brutal. I take a 54 here. Try and get it running a touch. Lies not great. I'm on a bit of a, an old path. A bit of 54. Gonna land it at the base of the slope. And just let it mosey its way up there. It's going to kick slightly right. Come down that slope. I must be like, I didn't actually push that too far away from where I wanted then. I just took off. So different. Like most of the courses we've been playing recently, like Portugal, Turkey, with some amazing places. None of them really require like long chipper runs or putts from off the green. Just a different game links. It's amazing. I love it. I break a tiny bit left at the end, but it's pretty straight. Go. Oh, what a line. Ah, what a line. Read it to perfection. Well, at least it's a par. Better than a combo. <laughs> Here we go, the postage stamp. Maybe the most famous course at Troon, and you can see why. We've got it on a gentle day. Beautiful backdrop, only 120 yards, and it's a hole that I've never not birdied. Oh yeah. How far is it again, Ash, sorry? Well, 10, I was only 10 yards out. 110, same club, basically at Ash's ball. It's a little drift, come on. You were getting excited then, weren't you? Because I was. I was getting excited. I thought that was bang on it. I thought that was it. I thought we were calling it quits. Headed to the clubhouse. Four bottles of Rioja, four cigars. Let's go mad. Just outside left. Just. It's one of the things about this green. It's pretty flat. That's fine for me. Thank you. This is it. This is it. Oh, it's drifted. That's it. Streak's over. Guys, I'm heading in. My golf's over. Might as well quit. Done. Oh, it's been a pleasure spending all this time with you across the years, but we're done. It's over. Thanks for watching. Give me a legacy subscribe. Thanks. Now, the line is basically with the T with a cut. You want to be under par from here? Let's get your ass moving. Oh, I'll do. That'll do. So we're currently four over now. All that turd came on one hole, that par five. I'm level par apart from that. It's not like I'm playing awful, but mentally it was just a complete switch off. So if I want to get back to gold medal, I've got to shoot four under from here. There's chances, but also a few of these holes coming in are like hard. They are tough. Only thing I'm hoping is that the wind around here can switch. So at the moment it's been down. As we go through the day, there's a good chance it'll go the other way, which will be downwind coming in. Fingers crossed. Right, yeah, I completely um, miscalculated <laughs> this hole. I thought this was all fairway over here, uh, when in fact it's the thickest rough and manageable. So I've got 72 to the front. I'm gonna hack out a lob, trying to get it to there and let it roll up to the pin. Come on, strong wrists.
Why is it moving left? Oh, it's a hell of a pin. There have been some funky pins today. All right, so straight up the green, up the slope. Again, I don't think he's going to do a lot. Not hold anything yet today. Now's the time. Oh, Pete. You are crap. Like, deep down, you are sh Average golfer. It's like a 40-foot pop. Ooh. You can't try and ram them in. We'll move slightly left, but I don't know how much. We're going to go inside right. Ow. Ow. Oh, that stings me in my soul. Well, that is a five over front nine and a serious consideration on whether to quit golf. Is it, it's not downwind this, is it? No, it's 340, oh, yeah. 340 front. Now I'm playing sensible this night. I'm gonna play this course as the architect intended and it's gonna reward me with a six under round. So it begins the best back nine you are ever gonna see on YouTube begins here. Right now, I'm gonna golf the hell out of this back nine. It's gonna be like, who was that? That young Tom Morris? Might be. 163 right at the back, 152 front. Just need to hit a little eight. I'm just gonna aim at the in a bush you can see just to the left of the hole. Control my swing. Scotty Sheff with that right foot. Patient golf, good golf. Oh, we'll get off the wind. Oh. I have no idea what that hit, but I could see that kick from here. It's time for a, just a refresh mentally. You've still got this. You're a good golfer, eagle par fives, birdie par fours, holding ones on par threes. Now this is, I mean, this was a, an error by me, missing the green on the right. Look at this slope, wow. So I've got a choice, which is gonna be determined by the lie. The risky choice really is to try and run it up that slope, but to try and flop it onto the top, that's going to be very difficult. Okay, I'm going to nip it. Come on, shot of a lifetime, right here. That was elite. He's back. That was some elite, elite lob wedge work, that. <laughs> that's whatever happens that is a that is a highlight of the day that that was oh up there best short game shots of it this year rather annoyingly the best short game shot i hit was at dundonald that we didn't record that but i think these new wedges are working pretty well i think i'm happy with my choice I have no reason to feel as confident as I'm feeling. Literally not, no reason at all. I'm just saying I'm no reason to feel as confident, but I'm absolutely buzzing for this back nine. Honestly, think I'm gonna shoot a good score. No evidence to support me so far. Well, no. Just blind optimism and hope. In between the pin and the bunker, hold it there, make magic happen. It's a tough hold. It's one, seven, six left in. Ah. <sighs> God, I struck that well. At least I missed it on the right side, but I ain't gonna help me with my quest for birdies, is it? Unless I chip in. Another tricky one again. Do I use the bank or do I? I've not got quite as much room to stop it. That's the problem. I'm almost tempted to put this, to be honest. I use a proper link shot. It's gonna be down all the way to the pin once it gets on there, so.
That has slowed up on the green. Beth, what happened then? No, I don't know. Nobody knows. Something wrong with this green. Seems to be doing a lot. Love it, mate. Best back line in golf. Made for it. Love it. I can smell it. yards here obviously redoing some tees for the open it goes all the way back there it's going to be about 480 off the backs and the green's just around to the right path in the distance just let it drift sure it came down before it but all right so got my 50 degree ball is sitting like up but also there's get room underneath it so i'm gonna have to pick it very clean hooked an extraordinary amount and it's pitch left it's all right at least i'm not leaving myself with another impossible up and down this is the definition of short siding oneself isn't it pin tight to this side of the green we have a massive slope in front of us and we have to land it short the green let it trundle up if it's short it's going to roll down here and i'm going to have the same problem all over again all right come on you've played some incredible up and downs today like sevi-esque but this is going to take all your skill you've got your landing point bump it up run 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 roll out if this goes in like we're done i'm out of here clubhouse just gonna bump it there release it up the slope i couldn't have played that any better without it being short that was so close to being so good Happy. Pushed it. I pushed that. Ah. It just came, it just came right off the blade. Right, six over, six holes to go. If you're liking this course, if you're liking these trips that we take to the Royal Venues, make sure you wallop that like button. Give, wallop that like button, gives an indication that these are the videos that you want to see. All right. Come on, Angus. Struggling for a bronze medal here. It's pretty good. On a course like this, if you go near the thick rough of the bunkers, man, you just, you screwed. That's been a big weakness. I still have only had really though one bad hole. It just feels like it feels like I play so badly because of it. Six over and four of those shots on one hole. So this is why Troon is probably my favourite open course. Obviously the fairway here you can see is chaotic. Again, strategic. You've got to hit the shot. Punishes you if you're offline. But it's actually quite a fair course. Like if you think about the weird kind of some of the funky bounces I've had, I've only had them because I've hit them in the wrong place. And this. Look at that in the background, Aaron. What a place, man. It's beautiful. 105 mil, 85 front. That's the number I'm playing with. I need to get this releasing out of the rough. I've missed another fairway. I'm just like hating on the fairways today for some reason. Admittedly, we all thought that was a good shot, but ain't gonna do me any good now. Come on, release. Ah, oh, short of the green. Come on, show patience, show strength, rigidity, something other than things, words, whatever. Now this is gonna be a fun one to judge the pace. A putter, uphill, whack. Greens in regulation, this nine, non-existent. You are such, such an annoying person. If this wasn't Royal Troon and it was normal Troon, there'd be some clubs flung by now. On its left, down the slope. Oh, Pete, honestly. Oh. 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 Everybody's having a good time. You alright? Alright? Everyone alright? 
I think I'm really annoyed um, because it's one of my favourite courses and I want to play it well. It's like Royal Troon and I just put myself in like such stupid situations. I'm seven over, which would put me into 78. I've literally got one more shot to play with. I'm not even going to get a bronze. Birdies seem as far away as Aaron right now. <laughs> Call out to the golf gods of Aaron. Hear my prayer. All I want in my life, literally, I'll give up everything, is agreeing the regulation. Six iron, little one, let it drift. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I, I do it all the time. And I, it's like a quality ball striking. I need this for like my own soul uh, and spiritual well being. Well Thank you. Oh, that's it. I'm so like, there's a moment, there's probably a point in time where relief like takes over from happiness. That's kind of where I am right now. But, par four, par five, par three, par four, chances. To make birdies. And that's what we're going to do, isn't it, Hannah? Hopefully. It's the spirit. You, you say that as if the last few are like really long holes straight into the wind. <laughs> she's, got a good, she's got a good point, but... <laughs> 400 plus. Got to take this drive. Over these traps to the left, I'll just like fade off. Now you hit it straight. Oh man, rip that as well. Uh, it's just left rough. It's a shame. That was genuinely, I think, my best drive of the day. 120, uh, 130, sorry. There's a big clump of grass over the back of the ball, so I'm gonna have zero spin. I'm trying to use that to my advantage by pitching it near the front. Come on, birdie to Bill. What do you mean? Yeah. On the yeah. I see how you made a really bad sound then, Kieran. Just giving us a read on this one. It breaks a little bit left to right at the end. Just a little, just a snitch, just a, a zephyr. Yeah. Uh, didn't learn as much as I needed to from you, also, mate. Just a bit firm. All right. Slightly right to left, just right edge. What, the putter? That's pretty close. Well, at least I got the line right. Yeah, they'll say that on my tombstone. You got the line right. Right, there is a water hazard out there water on this par 5 16th, which is at about 290 yards. However, I'm going to hit this with such ferocity it's not even going to have a chance to go in it. Come on, need an eagle there. You are, oh, you are in real danger. Anybody see that? Did it bounce or provisional? Wow, I can't fade it now. I'm really sure, oh, well, kind of shows you what I'm doing today. Just not middling it. Nowhere near. Absolutely no idea. What's going to happen out of here? Not a clue. It's going to go a iron and try and advance it down there. Not Actually, not bad. So, situation we find ourselves in. We are currently five, six, seven, six, seven over. And I'm going to be playing my fifth shot into a par five. The par at Troon is a 71. At very best, if I get six here, 
That's eight over, meaning I would have to par the last two to break 80. And the way that I'm hitting the ball, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do it. I am in deep doo-doo here, waist deep in poo or bogeys. I've got 140 to the pin. At least I'm hitting off a fairway. Vibrant green, beautiful. Wind hard off the left. Not really into, just off the left. Just gonna try and control a nine rather than hit a full wedge. All right, come on, up and down for a bogey. Give yourself a chance. Go on, man. Come on. Oh, short. Uh, this will be a legendary bogey. Just imagine if this went in. I'm leaving myself with two holes to get a birdie to break 80. If this goes in, it's brutal, man. It's a brutal test. Oh, especially the way I'm playing. What the hell? I do think Flixton would be a brutal test the way I'm playing today. Oh, what a really confident double bogey put that was. Get it. I think it is A time. Wind's like directly off the left, isn't it? Directly that way. All right, come on. Par three is the only hole you can birdie today. Oh my God. Me and you are going to have some serious words when we get in. Yes, I just balked myself in the third person. Jesus, Beth, honestly. I was wondering who you're talking to. I'm, yeah, I'm talking to the voice in my head. and I'm saying bad things. I'm going to chip it in. Wow, I'm leaving myself some absolute rotters. I'm going to open up the club. Keep it open. I'm going to let the club pass my hands. Pivot. Flip it. One bounce. Bit of check. In we go. Best short game shot you're ever going to see. Well, that was a horrific bounce. How did it bounce that way? How? How? Come on, you need this. I'm going to, to eagle the last. Okay. Ah, I just want to say thanks for inviting me out today. I've had a great time. Jesus. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> All right, at the flagpole. Smash it. Get a kick. Might be green side bunker. Yeah. Oh, I just needed a bit of fade. Oh, I broke your tee, Ash. I'm sorry. Broke it off, still got half it left. Ah, oh, man. So listen, we've had a bit of a rough time on the course, but one thing which we have also had is an incredible time. This is one of my favorite courses. I love it. I love the test of it. Today's definitely shown up the fact I'm slapping it everywhere. But the Donald Link's getting us over here for the RNA and Visit Scotland as well. Just a huge thank you. It's an incredible venue, an incredible place. I can't wait to get back, but first things first, we've got an eagle to get. So we've still got a chance here of breaking 80 and grabbing a bronze. The slim chance. Lob wedge. Landing it over this bunker, letting it go. That was a crap shot. That was crap. I think I'm going to swing a fair bit, actually. Move up this slope. Oh, Ash, I'm sorry, mate. Please don't kick me out of Dundonald. Come on, Beth. <laughs> 